good morning. Oh, so today we're going to the Sarkati cave. Finally, that's been on my list, on my to-do list for a while, and today is finally happening. So we're doing a 30-minute uh, scooter drive, uh, and it's supposed to be this like big crater of a cave. I'm super excited. Uh, but last night there were some mosquitoes in our room. Really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Like you can hear them like coming at your ear and I don't know, I couldn't fall asleep. So I'm a little bit tired today, but I have some coffee here and uh, we have a new addition to the crew, uh, Victoria. The newest addition to the crew, I hate using the word crew, but in lack of better words, I'm gonna say crew. <laughs> Victoria, say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. And then you've got veteran crew member. Veteran exactly. crew member. <laughs> Professional belayer yeah. and coffee maker. Yeah. Very excited, as always. Super excited. All right, let's start today. So we are here uh, at Sakati Cave and uh, we need to find a way to uh, get down because it's like a big crater. I wish I had a drone right now because uh, I think this thing would look so cool from above. Imagine that like a meteor impacted this hillside and then melted the limestone so there's all these like crazy tufas dripping all over the place. It's like you're climbing in a cave that's made out of a melted candle. Exactly. Yeah. We have just warmed up a little bit and uh, now I'm going to try this route, Joss, Jaws. 8C. <laughs> First going to go up and fix the draws because there aren't any draws in as far as I can see. But it's like super exposed. You start on this like ledge and uh, you just continue out in the roof, out in the abyss. Looks super sweet. You like it too? Uh, it was not as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, really chossy and the bolts are really old and the rope drive was just heinous. It was uh, like I couldn't move at the end there. And uh, I ran out of dross. Um, so now I have to borrow some more dross from Sack in case I get past the crux and uh, continue. So I'm sorry, Petzl. But uh, <laughs> I have to do it. So I'm just gonna give it one more try.
So yeah, I give up this route. I don't have enough draws. I don't have enough long draws. And uh, it just feels like, I don't know, it just feels uh, really chossy. It doesn't feel like a lot of people climb on this. So I'm giving up this one. Just one of those days, you know. Almost onside of that 7B plus. Almost, almost my first 7B on plus onside, but not to be. Only the chains left. Only the chains left. Shit. Next time though. Next time. You climbed really smooth up to there. I thought <laughs> you were gonna do it. I, I did too until the very end. Yeah, and then I just like, I think I got too much tunnel vision at the top. Yeah. And I was missing some holds. You choked. I choked. <laughs> choked under the pressure. Yeah. Painful. 